The Heaviside function h is defined by the following. h of t is going to equal 0 if t is less than 0. h of t is going to equal 1 if t is greater than or equal to 0. Now it is used in the study of electric circuits to represent the sudden surge of electric current or voltage when a switch is instantaneously turned on. We want to be able to sketch the graph of the Heaviside function. So we can see here that this kind of resembles a piecewise function. So h of t is going to equal two values. It's going to equal zero if t is less than zero. So if we take a look here at a graph, our uh, vertical axis represents h and our horizontal axis represents 2. So that means that at 0, we know that h of t is going to equal 0, which means it's going to be a horizontal line if t is equal to 0, but we're not, if t is less than 0. So that means at 0, we have to have an open circle because we can't include it. So we cannot include it, and it's going to go in this direction. Okay, and so then we also know that h of t is going to equal 1 if the value of t is going to be greater than or equal to 0. So at 1, we can include it because it's greater than or equal to, and therefore this graph is going to go in that direction. So therefore, this is the graph of the heavy side function. Okay, the next example asks us to sketch the graph of the voltage V of t in a circuit if the switch is turned on at time t equals 0 and 120 volts are applied instantaneously to the circuit and then write a formula for V of t in terms of H of t. So if we have H of t then we know that it's going to be 0 if t is less than 0 and it's going to be 120 if t is greater than or equal to 0. So just like our previous graph it'll look similar so we know that at 0 we have an open circle and it's going less than, so it's going in that direction. And then at 120, we know that we're going to include it because it's greater than or equal to zero. And therefore, it's going in that direction. And now we need to write the formula for V of t in terms of H of t. And so from here, we can say that V of t is going to equal 120 times the function h of t. Okay, now for part c, we want to be able to sketch the graph of the voltage v of t in a circuit if the switch is turned on at time t is equal to 5 seconds and 240 volts are applied instantaneously to the circuit. We want to write a formula for v of t in terms of h of t. And note that starting at t is equal to 5 corresponds to a translation. So that means what we're doing is, is that we're translating this graph that we did in part b 5 units to the right. And now we can see that we're looking at 240 volts. So if we wanted to then graph this piecewise function, then we're just translating this. So that means we're going to have an open circle at 5. And then we see that this line is going to go in that direction. And then at 240, we know that it's going to be, at this point, going towards this direction. So what that means is, is that h of t, okay, is going to equal the following. It's going to equal 0 when t is less than 5 or if t is less than 5. Let me go ahead and erase that. 
if t is less than 5, or it's going to be 240 if t is greater than or equal to 5. And so now we want to write a formula v of t in terms of h of t. Well, here we can see that starting with the formula from part b, we replace 120 with 240 to reflect the different voltage. Also, because we are starting 5 units to the right of t is equal to 0, then we replace t with t minus 5. So that should be minus 5. Thus, the formula V of t is equal to 240H times t minus 5. 